1964 Daytona 500 was a chance for Chrysler to regain ground against the Fords, which dominated the 63 race. The new streamlined Plymouth featured a Hemi engine that was producing record lap times. Coming into the race with such a powerful car, Richard Petty was as confident as he had ever been. Behind the pace car, Goldsmith and number 26 Plymouth and Petty number 43 Plymouth, first row. Junior Johnson, number three Dodge and Pardew, number 54 Plymouth, second row. The pace car pulls off the track, the field picks up speed, and the race is on. Going into the first turn, it's wheel to wheel. Goldsmith jumps out in front, and Petty slips into his windstream right behind him. Bobby Isaac, number 26 Dodge, charges into third. Maurice Petty, Richard's brother, and Lee can only stand by now and watch. The field stretches out as the leaders hit a speed of 180 miles per hour on the backstretch. Goldsmith takes lap one, but not by much. Petty is moving up. Petty passes. The fans loved the friendly young Richard Petty. He was quickly becoming one of NASCAR's most popular drivers. Despite early challenges by Paul Goldsmith, Bobby Isaac, and A.J. Foyt, Petty would lead for much of the race. There's a three-way battle for second place. Goldsmith, Isaac, Pardue. Goldsmith falls back. Dodge breaks loose from Pardew and charges out to Petty. Isaac catches Petty. Petty pass. Bobby Isaac takes first place, but Petty stays with him. Pours it on and barrels past Isaac to run in front again. After 10 laps, the average speed is over 172 miles per hour, breaking all 500 mile records. The race is young, anything can happen. 475 miles to go. The leaders begin to lap the field. Trying to stay with the leaders, other drivers go all out to stay within striking distance. Fireball Roberts, number 22 Ford, has transmission trouble. In the first 40 minutes of the race, 16 cars run out of iron. 500 miles on this track is the equivalent of 100,000 miles on the highway. mile mark comes up. It's Richard Petty running in first. Dave Pearson, number six, Dodge second. Point 00 Ford right after him. And Parnelli Jones, 15 Mercury fourth. Hanch, 21 Ford fifth. The average speed is still better than 172 miles an hour. 100 miles, and the leaders pit. Petty, the first, charges down the pit wall. But Dick finds Buck Baker in another Petty car, number 41, in the Petty pit area. Buck was supposed to pit after Dick, but he ran out of gas sooner than expected. One crew, two cars to be serviced. A tough break. While the petty team sweats out the fueling and the precautionary tire changes on both cars, other crews work frantically on Petty's competition. Seconds lost in the pits have to be made up the hard way on the track, and time gained can win the race. Point with a 30-second stop is the first of the leaders to roar away. Pearson charges right after him in second place. At the 173 mile an hour pace, it takes only 52 seconds to go around this two and a half mile course. After a minute and a half in the pits, number 41 and 43 finally get underway, and Petty has dropped to 15th place. Now it's his turn to chase the leader. He does. 
does. Rim riding this high bank pack flat out at 175 miles an hour. Oh, Dave Pearson hits the wall, coming into the main straightaway. Dave Pearson was running second when he blew a tire and hit the outside wall. He emerged from the car okay, but his car was done for the day. They're off and running again, and Petty is still charging. Only one car stands between him and first place, Goldsmith. And on lap 52, Petty passes to take the lead again. At the age of 26, Richard Petty led the race for 184 laps, including the final 149. He lapped the second place car by the halfway point of the race and dominated the field with a record-setting performance that showed no signs of weakness. The white flag. One more lap to go, and Richard Petty is still moving along easy and strong. Richard has one lap lead over second, two laps over third and fourth. Richard Petty rolls into the winner's circle as his father did five years ago. The jubilant Petty crew runs to greet him. This is their victory, too. They who have worked so long and so hard for the big one. This has been a great show for Plymouth, who ran one, two, three. Hardu was second and Goldsmith third. Miss Firebird presents the victory flag. And for the Petties, Lee and Richard, there's nothing like checkered flags to make happy time. Besides the trophies, Richard Petty earned $33,300 in 3 hours, 14 minutes, and 23 seconds. As Lee said, it's a big accomplishment to beat the best. And this 500-mile race will long be remembered as not only the richest ever run at Daytona, but the fastest ever run anywhere, anytime.